Hey guys, it's me JK here. Just gonna do a run of the Lizards of the Lost Kingdom event. Uh, I've already done some runs, obviously, but I've never really done it manually. I've just been autoing the whole time. So let's see how it is when I try to do it manually. So it appears I haven't done this no deaths requirement, so I'm gonna try to be a little bit careful this time. Uh, let's turn off auto. Uh, let's see if I have the right party here. Um, Maybe I should just play it extra safe and bring a healer. Yeah, um, I'll bring a mercenary too. Oh wow, level 80 um, Reagan. I've never seen that before. Alright, let's go. Let's take this. Um, this is not supposed to be a guide or anything like that because obviously not everybody's gonna have units like these but uh, I just wanted to kind of play it and um, yeah you can you can see what it looks like at least from my perspective so okay first things first um, oh okay so the little flower dude hasn't spawned yet but that thing is a problem because basically it uh, can charm one of your people and you just kind of kill each other so that's probably one of the reasons why I haven't gotten the no death clear. I don't want to kill this guy, or can I kill this guy? He's a little too tanky. Okay, let's just go for. Um... Yeah, I recently switched to basic twin blade instead of the um, dark cavalier basic skills, just for the uh, charge and everything. So, and I was playing in arena, and he kept doing like that blood drain instead of using like good skills. So it was just kind of annoying me. So let's see if I can, um, yeah, make good use of the Twin Blade basic. The new arena layout is pretty wild actually. Um, it definitely makes ranged units more viable. Um, yeah, I actually peaked at like number 20, but then it's hard to defend with, like everybody has Selena now. So, um, I'm no longer, like, different. And of course they have Selena and Vettel. The typical party is like Selena, Vettel, Balt. But I don't have Vettel, so... Or I don't have a arena-ready Vettel. Um... um okay, combo attack is available, so I might as well do it. Yeah, sorry, I, I sometimes have a hard time, like, talking and playing at the same time. Wow, thousand damage from a Reagan. I mean, well, okay, so that's why double combo. Even so, that was pretty cool. Okay. Oh yeah, and they do drop apples sometimes. So like, I'm not crazy about farming for Sabaretta, obviously, but the fact that I can get some apples from this level kind of mitigates some of the um, the feeling of wasted AP. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so quicken. I'm gonna quicken this Reagan. Holy cow. Yeah, like some runs I'll get like four Forbidden Apples, which um, for 40 AP, considering that you're getting other stuff too, is pretty nice. Yeah. Okay, so there's one of the little flowers. This spawning in a weird spot, like it usually doesn't spawn there. Or maybe it does, I don't know. I, I don't really pay attention when I auto. So there's too much of a height difference here, so I can't attack. Fortunately, my quickened Reagan is asleep. All right, so this is a fire element. It's like it, does, it doesn't really matter, but do extra damage with this. Big guys drop shards or um, apples, which is pretty nice. So, okay, easy kill. Wish I could kill the flower though. I 
doubt it. Nope, too much of a height difference. Actually, right now, um, hunters and rangers are not a bad choice because um, there's levels like these with you know height differences and things like that, and rangers and you know that that archer class basically doesn't have a problem. Um, oh, this person has basic chronomancy. Doesn't have a problem um, with height. Also, in the arena map, like. Snipers can't really shoot through walls, of course, but uh, hunters and rangers can shoot over them. So yeah, it's just something to consider. That does make Ryle, uh, at least for now, definitely a strong, strong hero. Okay, this is really annoying, but um, at least it's sleep and not charm. These big guys can kind of hurt, but um, not too badly. It's just that they're um, kind of hard to kill in one shot, so yeah. it can be annoying. All right, so four apples this run, which is really good. Um, well, it's not really good, but it's um, what I was hoping for. So, all right, so there's 777. It looks like I can't kill either one of them, so. I think I'll go for this guy because he's a little harder to reach, I think. Oh man, my Selena tank is like taking forever. My wife's telling me to pick up the kids again. <laughs> Alright, so... Twin Edge, nope. Do I have another combo attack? Is that why? Yeah. Sometimes I'm like weirded out when my normal attack would do more damage than a skill, and then I forget that it's combo attack. Okay. This looks pretty smooth, except for the fact that I can't get my tanks out in front. Yeah, the demon in the upper right corner is water, I believe, so... Uh, Magnus is on the right track there. Karen Grace, let's do that. So, um, yeah, the demons are acting uh, soon, so I'll kill them first. Just to play it safe, but uh, yeah, I'm not gonna have any problems with the no death, I don't think, this time around. And I think I got lucky too, because I never got charmed. Uh, can I blade storm? Nope, that's the wrong lane. I don't think this is gonna work. Yeah, it's not gonna work. Okay, so I'll have to wait. No, I don't need to double my attack for this girl, I don't think. Oh man, Selena's all the way back here. <laughs> she hasn't done anything this round. Okay, so... Probably wanna stick with um, faster characters. Unless you need the tanking. Alright, so Ball's gonna take care of her. I'm gonna try to bring my Reagan over to the upper right. I uh, can't really quicken anybody either. Okay, so that's fine, I'll just wait. And Ball's gonna do his thing. I think I definitely do prefer quicken overall. Um, more than overclock because it just lasts so long. Uh, overclock is really good for like key moments when you want to have like you know prevent a strong attack from happening and you kill him first. But um, another good thing is that these guys don't really move, so you can kind of like control when you're gonna do stuff. So I'm gonna stay out of range there. Um, I am gonna pick up that treasure chest though. On the, on the next turn. Um, yeah, 
perhaps if I had quickened Selena, she would have been useful this round, but... Oh well. Oh uh, no, I don't want to kill him yet. I want to get that uh, treasure chest first. Totally not necessary at this point. Um, yeah, I can't attack yet. Nope. All right, well, that's it. Um, yeah, manual definitely works a lot better, of course, but um, it's the first time I've done it manually. So yeah, this is a pretty nice haul. Well, okay, I only got one Sabaretta shard. Normally I'd get like a few more. I've even gotten like up to eight. But that's because I got apples instead with a couple of those drops. But, you know, honestly, I'd rather have the apples, so I'll take it. Um, anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed watching. Uh, this event is... Uh, I mean, of course he's a weak character, but, you know, I always like farming free characters, and plus with the apples, it's kind of a nice uh, bonus, so I'm probably going to farm it, um, not super hardcore, but, you know, with the Selena shards being so limited, it's not like I'm going to be using my AP all on that anyway, so, uh, take care guys, uh, let me know what you think, um, I am farming him up max on my alt account, because I'm just kind of doing all that free character treatment on that account but um you know with the apples it's not too bad so take care